what? Wait, what? <laughs> uh oh. Try again. What? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's where we're at so far with Baldur's Gate. Uh, so we came Love here. The BG3 streams, oh. man, I hope you finish the game. I hope I finish the game too. We found the crash and we killed the entire Gith Yankee race on accident because there was this cool looking weapon, the blood of Lathander. We ended up looting this mace and then what happened when we looted the mace is it blew up the entire building. Yeah, it was an accident. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna kill everybody. I just thought that maybe something would happen, but I didn't. I didn't think it was everybody's gonna die. So, um, people are saying they've never seen that before, which is uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's an S fan thing, so it is what it is. Let's go to the next part of the quest. So, so the next part of the quest I think has us going here. Which oh, but you know what? We didn't finish discovering stuff on this side. Puzzle skipper Andy, chat. Listen, you don't skip puzzle. Oh wait, oh oh, I can't even go back there. Oh, this is like a this is like a done deal. This is over. Wait, so I just skipped this entire portion of the map right here. Cool enchanted weapon. What could go wrong? Genocide. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, you gotta. <laughs> guys, come on, guys. You gotta crack some skulls. Or crack, <laughs> you gotta crack some eggs, guys. That's not the saying goes. It's not crack some skulls. <laughs> you gotta crack some skulls to make an omelet. Blue Jay. Wait, we can talk to this Blue Jay. I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. I'm not here to take. I'm looking for a Githyanki crash. Have you seen one? Do I look like a bloody tour guide? All I know is the roof's the best nest spot on the whole Chion Far. Well, I got there first, too. Yeah. Before the thieves showed up. Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest. Prey. Everything. <laughs> That's how it works here. Well, that doesn't sound very fair. Fair. I got there first. The eagles don't even need it. Surely the eagles need the need a nest as much as you do. Not on top of the monastery, they don't. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. You're in luck. The eagles are dead. Wait, why is it saying the eagles are? Why, why would I say the eagles are dead? Wait, when he says monastery, is he talking about the crash? Well, the eagles are dead. Eagles can be. Killed? Oh, incredible! Thank you, kind, tall, ugly stranger. My nest awaits! What will you do if more eagles return to the roof? <sighs> well, I'll either be killed or ask another poor sap to fight him again. Wait, did he leave? Wait, a key! Wait, there's a key in his nest. What is a key to? A small iron key. Oh, it's just called the key. Rotten chicken eggs. Wait, hold on. Why were there rotten chicken eggs inside of the blue jay's nest? How was the blue jay planting chicken eggs? Wait, can a blue jay and a chicken make a baby? Wait, hold on. If one type of bird lays an egg, can another type of bird sit on that egg and hatch it? Have you thought about that? Okay, okay. So, with that logic, if one type of you know what? Never mind. Actually, we're not gonna go down that road. Okay, well, I mean, it's not that weird, but it's like kind of weird. But like, can one type of like mammal? <laughs> Wait, no, no, dude. Never mind. I'm so dumb, dude. We drink cow's milk. I was gonna say, can one mammal drink another mammal's milk? But we obviously drink cow's milk. Technically, a rhino could sit on the egg. Might not be good for it, but it could happen. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Dumbledore! Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Wait, hold on. Do birds not just hatch eggs on their own? Do they have to... Do birds make babies? Or do they just like hatch eggs on their own without making babies? They have sex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they rub their kolaches together? Oh, I love kolaches. Many miles, you say. Where do you hail from? Originally, Shadowdale. 
Lately, the fanciest inns of Waterdeep. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I indeed? Who no, are famed and respected the errant, errant boy, boy more, more like? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Do you think birds get married? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay. Yes, Gail, where is your decorum? Oh, for the love Yeah, Gail, what is wrong with you? Well, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old, and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. Uh, I suppose I'm as curious as you are as to what he has to say. In the lore, Elminster is the wizard that comes to the game and tells the creator all the game, the creator of the game, all the lore. Yeah, that's kind of cool that he put like one of his original characters in Baldur's Gate 3. So like this guy is a character from Baldur's Gate 1. OG characters that forgotten around the lore. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old as Turian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Next one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest. After all, a good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their the meaning. meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I am... Um, uh. Well, that is to say... What? What is he doing? Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. Mr. The who? message and the charge I bring you are hers. But Mr. is a her? You were sent here as an actual divine messenger? Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Oh, so no. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. If even the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what Waves we are building up to be. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Wait, what? Mistra is mistaken. I will be the absolute destroyer. Wait, should I say that? No, Gale alone? How so? The all. Precisely. You must find the heart of the absolute. 
whatever that may yeah, be. Yeah, why can't you pause? And use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. We'll be rid of both the Absolute and Gale in one fell swoop, win win. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I want to say this just to see the reaction. I may be slow to anger, but I will not have you sully this moment of most sorrowful import with ill-considered levity. <laughs> so fast. It's all right, Elminster. If ever Gallo's humor were appropriate, this is its grim smiling hour. Gallows humor. Gallows humor. It's a... Uh, it's locker room talk. That's what that is. That's, that's locker room talk. You're tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gael himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Uh, I mean, if I say on my honor it shall be done, I'm telling him, like, okay, we're gonna let him die. It's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. I don't want him to kill himself. Or some other fortune altogether. I said we'll like find another way. Moons make swell and wane the nescient seas. So too, the sky's truven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. You're considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. So that's it? You're on a suicide mission now? Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time, in more ways than one. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. You're not blowing yourself up, Gale. I won't let you. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. We may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Dude, that was like the... Am I, I might be crazy, but that, was, that felt like such a smooth transition into the camp. Like, I... <laughs> I didn't even realize we transitioned into the camp. That's how smooth it was. <laughs> Make sure to tie up any loose ends. Are there any loose ends? This is no typical blue. We need to stay alert. wants to know. I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch. Stay out of the dark and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Uh, okay. Ox? Like it gored one of its attackers before it died. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, boy. You on the phone? Fish! Observe. <laughs> you see that blight of coat? Swallowed all by the shadow curse. Bet it was pure tasty. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. Well, I didn't know. I was just watching to see what he was doing. I thought he was just playing with a dog. The true soul retaining the moon eyes, that's me. How do you plan on getting me through this cursed darkness? Talk to Kansif inside. He'll run through it. Uh, one last thing. Go and fetch that bone you threw. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you're joking, yeah? But we're ready to go. 
You just need to tell Kansip inside. Illithid, go on, fetch. Oath of Vengeance. Those who refuse me do not live for very long. Oh yeah. So you want me to... Shadowheart I mean, Bruce. I'll just... I'll just go and... Uh... I always choose the Paladin options. No. No. Ah! Nice. That was evil? That was not evil, that was vengeance. True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? Uh, no. We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her liar to summon a guide through the darkness. If the Night Warden did not send you, who did? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm um, traveling to Moonrise, like you. I fear neither of us are traveling, then. The darkness here is murderous. The only safe way through is with a guide. Of course, you are free to take your chances if you wish. But I will be waiting here for the Night Warden's liar. And where can I find this liar? Minthara always carried it on her person. I assume she still does. Unless someone swiped it. Well, I looted it, didn't I? Because I killed her. If you looted her jammies, you should have her liar. Yeah, unless I looted her jammies and I left everything else. Is it this? Is it Spider's liar? Is it this one? Cool. Well, that's convenient. It's a good thing I kept it. We are ready when you are, true soul. We need only the liar. I have it right here. Then pluck a tube, and our guide will come scuttling. Uh. Performance. Pluck a tube. Two? Oh no, dude, why does this happen to me? He said pluck a two. Pinch me, please. I'd really love to wake up from this nightmare. Oh my gosh. In the absolute's name, you have been charged with guiding us. Flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to her true soul. Wait, he thinks I'm Benthara? And you. What? Are you, apart from a torturer of liars, more faithful of the absolute? They need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice. The absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty. Mm. Yes. Yes. They'll do it nicely. <laughs> what happened to his torch? Now, are we ready to depart? Yes. Lead on. Bless us again, Majesty. Shine your light. Protect us. Come. Follow and stay close. Do not leave the light. Do not feed the shadows. I, I wonder if we should attack him. Move out! I wonder if I should fight him. Okay, I still leave him here. They must keep up. The shadows are hungry. Patience. Majesty, you bless us with your patience. Looks like an ambush. Ambush, it's in. Who's there? Show yourself! Harper's attack! Kill the cultists and get that lantern! Attacks! Villains in the dark! These Harpers are clearly enemies of the Absolute. They could be worthwhile allies. The defense.
Defend the guide oh, and you might no. be cover as a true soul. Defend the caravan, attack the harpers. Kill them! Turn the heathens to pieces! Take out the droider! We need that lantern! Wait, wait, is this an oath break? Wait, if this is an oath break, I'm reloading. Because I didn't want to oath break. I think I made a mistake. I I'm gonna reload if this is an oath break, because I don't I don't want to oath break. You can reverse the evilness by saying it's in the name of getting an upper hand on the leader by making him think you're on his side. Well that's the point. Tectone! Ooh, nice. I don't think I'm actually doing the bad guys. I think I ha like these guys attacked us. And here we find this family. Tempting fate of breaking his oath to hopefully impress his lead Zell. Maybe she'll give him more of the Tanji Margarita. Okay. Only time will tell. Don't call it that. Why is he helping the evil dudes? Because I need them. I need them to get across, don't I? Wretched little thing. Shadows, but no matter, Majesty, they are already dead and soon forgotten. You never said there were others out here. Who are they? Harpers, spies, little scurry rats, trying to stop our queen's great mission. The sooner we reach Moonrise, the sooner you will see her power. Examine one of the bodies, looking for the magic protecting them out here. Ooh! Are, do you guys hear the audio peaking from the game? You something odd on the fallen soldier. A faint glow about the face, like an aura fast fading. You can feel the power it held. No. Weak, uh -huh. but still divine. These soldiers were protected from the shadows by a blessing of Saluna. All dead, Majesty. It is time for us to move on. Chad, that was good. That wasn't an oath break. We're still evil? Well, what, like, what, what are we gonna do if we're with them? The ends justify the means. That's the most paladin thing ever. We're close. They approach your sanctuary. I can feel it. Majesty. The absolute. Power is no. strong here. Complete fall of the convoy. Playtime's over. So, pack up your ears. You and the pup have a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. Oh, you're They're locked say. up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. If this devil is so powerful, how did they manage to get captured? Questions, questions! You're wasting my time! Let's see about getting your priorities fixed. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses. And he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. You either mount a quick rescue, or you condemn Will to an eternity sizzling in the hells. Sounds like an easy choice to me. Zora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his path. Huh. Formants, say you know a pact-breaking charm and chant a series of pseudo-infernal phrases. Okay, I think that's gonna be- I'm gonna save just because I think this will be funny. Okay. Nice. I've never seen such a fierce display <laughs> of sheer idiocy. <laughs> Bravo. Nice. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Should I keep it? Now, or should I change to something else? To moonrise. Or they all, they all do the and same thing, it's just different different options for checks. They've been especially hungry. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret. Another the true sword. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. As I was told, followed every order I was given. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Take it up with Minthara. She's 
the one who... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your temples squirms, urging you to obey. You know what's funny? They don't know that Minthora's dead. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Uh, do I say don't kill them? They're loyal followers of the Absolute. I mean, maybe I just keep watching. You ain't serious. You can't be. General Thor. Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't that so? What is your judgment? We did as we were told. We're loyal to the Absolute. Tell him. Enough. True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. They're faithful soldiers. Thank you. It's good to be appreciated. Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! Wait, what? You freaking old bag of shit! What? Wait, what? <laughs> uh oh. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. What? Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Oh my gosh! Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Paladin, it shall be trial by combat. If you wish to live, you must champion yourself. Wait, okay, hold on. Why is then the most paladin option? I feel like the most paladin option would be to release them. Force them to rebuild the Colts. <laughs> you serious? We don't stand a chance! Critical miss. Um, I feel like that was not the most paladin option to kill them. I feel like I've made a mistake. Like I'm definitely like I'm not like I'm not supposed to be here. Like I, I took a wrong turn, and this is like I'm like at the wrong I'm like at the wrong party. Once again, S fan finds rarest route in Giga Chat, dude. Rare S fan playthroughs. Right. <laughs>